pre-med student. Really? It was in university, I was 17, and it came out in a newspaper that there were these auditions for Miss Saigon, and my mum got a phone call from the president of the Singers Union in the Philippines. You know, let Leia audition for, for Miss Saigon, it's this big thing. My mom's like, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> they might just be these, like, they are these Hollywood producers who come into the country sometimes, or so-called Hollywood yeah. producers, who take advantage of young girls, or these fly-by-night people. And who, she didn't know who they were. She didn't, we had not heard of Les Mis. We all, the only thing we'd heard of was Cats. And so once that person said, oh, this is the guy who produced Cats, and we're like, oh, okay, this sounds interesting. Maybe we'll get into it. And, so, and my one concern about that, though, was missing school. Because I, I would already prepared 13 years of my life to prepare for, for being a doctor, but I auditioned and... Um, they got it. Now, the part of Kim is, is quite a raunchy role for those who've never seen Miss Saigon. Well, not, it's not exactly raunchy because she starts off very innocent. Yeah, but. Really, but she's wearing not much yeah. on stage. <laughs> and the thing that she does wear on stage, which is the see through Audi sleeveless thing, it's, it's see through. <laughs> That's the point. I'd never ever worn anything like that, not even in my sleep. <laughs> <So>. <laughs>